Shahzad, uh, let me ask you something. It's a very basic question that you do have your own production, current production, right? right. Yes. So how long you have been doing it and how does your production work? Well, let's get back uh, that I basically uh, I'm doing these shows for the last uh, uh, 20, 20 years. Mm -hmm. But really getting into uh, current productions uh, came into life about five years ago mm -hmm. where I started doing uh, bringing shows from Pakistan, India and other places. And uh, professionally I went basically five years ago. Before that I used to do it for organizations uh, on a community level. Uh, I've been involved. I myself is a musician. Really? Uh, yes, from my childhood I play drums, keyboard, I, have seen you I sing. Yes. So that really inspired me, uh, mm -hmm. and I love music and all kind of music. It's not a, a necessary Pakistani Indian music. I love Latin music. I love jazz. I love music symphony. Music is very soothing. So really, that's into me, and uh, I love it. I, the music is. I I do it for my. Uh, satisfaction first. That's uh, right. Monetary, you know, financially, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love it. I, no matter what happens, it's just there. And uh, I remember I used to say that that's just like having music as a first wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did your wife say? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I hope she's not listening. <laughs> what about yeah. you, Zafar? What really inspired you or motivated you? Into this business? Uh huh. Well, actually, um, like you said, um, I really like music, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm in music all, uh, very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been uh, watching my brother uh, since I was uh, very young, mm -hmm. and uh, he's been in the show business for a long, long, long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so since I've been following him, you know, it's just inspired me, and, I, you know, I, I like to do it myself. So, you know, this time I'm trying myself to do it, you know, my own. And That's and, great. Know, Good luck. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, Shahzad, uh, I'm very curious. I'd like to know that how do you arrange the shows? I mean, uh, do you have to draw a contract and airfares, accommodation, sightseeing, shopping, <laughs> all those things? <laughs> I'd like to well, know. Well, it's a very important question. Yeah. Um, I would like to let the community know that it's really not easy, like when uh, people come and uh, attend the show, but there's so much work to be done behind the scene. Mm -hmm. From the day one when we sign a contract, uh, uh, we are basically uh, known as a local uh, promoter. I, 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 I'm labeled as a local promoter for Florida. Uh, just to let you know that this time I went in uh, uh, hands to hand with uh, Kazi to do the show. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives us more strength, uh, a lot of work to be done. and. Uh, be because of my business commitments, mm -hmm. I, I, as uh, I'm also a businessman, uh, it helps that you know the more uh, people are involved, uh, the better the show it becomes. Exactly. Uh, coming back to the show, how it is organized. Believe me, from the day one, we, when we signed the contract, you're on the run. On the run. <laughs> <laughs> because I know, like people say, oh, we have two months, one and a half mm -hmm. month. You know. By the way, the show is on Friday, November 17th. So mm -hmm. I would like to let the community know about that. It's at the Hollywood Hills High School. I know you didn't ask me that question, but I'd like to let them know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, because that's, uh, uh, we work towards that goal from the day one. Mm -hmm. uh, the marketing, the once the contract is signed, the advertising, uh, getting approaching the TV mm -hmm. uh, studios, uh, the radio stations, the newspaper. Yeah, and the PR, yes, everything. The personal marketing, uh, because the, the bad thing would be if the people don't know about the show. It hurts exactly, you. Exactly. Yeah. And when you invested so much uh, uh, money in this, you want to make sure each and every individual in the community is aware of this, basically. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the best uh, way we do it. And we want to make sure that every person in the community is aware. Mm -hmm. And that gives us satisfaction. So there's yeah. a lot of hard work. And then when the show comes near as the, when the, show, the day of the show, the accommodation has to be taken. We have to pick them up from the, mm -hmm. the planning is done from the day one. We really can afford to uh, miss out our planning because right. the management is not strong. The show, no matter what the show is, uh, it can collapse it can as well. Yeah. So our credibility, I think so, I, I always keep that in mind. My credibility is very important mm -hmm. because if I am producing a show uh, in a very, very professional level, uh, I'm labeled as, per, you know, on that exactly. level. So it becomes <coughs> very, very important and uh, the background you know, on the stage, the plants. I mean, there are a lot of mm, details. The PA system, which is number yeah, one. People start judging you. Let me you tell you, <laughs> I mean, a lot of time we cut corners. 
mm -hmm. can't count us in peer system, but believe me, it's not worth it. I mean, you can put peers, make people sit on the floor and let them listen if mm -hmm. your sound system is not good, no matter what happened, no matter mm -hmm. how good singer he or she is, it is very, very important. So, yes. I mean, these are some of the highlights which I, you asked me, I'm mm -hmm. uh, letting you know what is hardships are involved in. Oh, yes, short. oh, yes. I mean, it's the... Had you ever come across really, you know, something you say, oh, I cannot forget this? Uh, any problem that you say that Basically, was Basically, let me tell you, I, every, after every show, I do my evaluation. Mm -hmm. And I think so, I have learned in my school life, I learned, and I think so, a person should evaluate no matter how successful the of person course. is. So after every show, I mean, I will never say that I'm very perfect, okay, because I have a checklist mm -hmm. and I go through that. And no matter what, you still forget something. It could be a very minor thing, uh, some uh, setup at the back of the stage for the artist. Mm -hmm. You might have forgot some water, some yeah. <laughs> pokes. Uh, I mean, some of these. So I have eventually, I keep on adding my checklist. Right. And I make sure that all these checklists There's are There's so followed. much to do yes, and very little time, there. I know. It could be minor. Even the gifts or the flowers for the artist. Mm -hmm. I mean, I go into so much details. So really, I mean, I evaluate my program, I keep on correcting mm -hmm. as the program goes, and uh, I improve myself on that basis, and, uh, you know, that's how well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> you know. uh, Zafar, I mean, uh, what are your expectations for this show? Well, um, the way it's going, I think this show is going to be a very successful show mm -hmm. because uh, the the folk singer Atalan Khani Sakhilvi is a very famous name mm -hmm. in Pakistan and actually is uh, well known in India too. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm expecting a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, and um, I think it's going to be going to be a very successful show. That's good. Yeah. Let me ask you something, Shazad. Then, <laughs> like you said it, <laughs> that we have had lots of. Uh, uh, shows uh, in uh, Miami in the past and uh, some shows were successful and some were flop and uh, there were times that uh, when you go over there you're waiting and waiting and nobody shows up this at the set the show is canceled or sometimes uh, <coughs> you go over there you're waiting two and a half hour and they only give you half an hour entertainment what what's wrong here I mean is there miscommunication between promoters or artists? What do you think well, about Well, you're really cornering me here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me tell you. I like to know, I, I like to I clear myself. I, I know, I like to clear myself. I know there's, there's a lot of the questions like these in uh, the, uh, the community, uh, community's mind. Uh, let me explain to you how this basically, uh, as I said, we depend. As I mentioned to you earlier, uh, that we are local promoters. Mm -hmm. We depend on national and international promoters. Right. It means once a show comes in, they sign with us as a local because this, this show is being done all over U.S. and Canada. Let me ask you, by yeah. the way, who is the national promoter of this show? This is the national promoter is Javed. Oh, I okay, see. he's from Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, we depend on them. Right. Now, once uh, we sign a contract with them, we expect that the show to come in. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two ways it could, first of all, uh, I try my best to work with promoters which are uh, renowned and established. Mm -hmm. Very, very important. You try your best, but again, I cannot say that uh, there could be a problem there too. We at local level do all the homework, all the arrangements. I agree with you that if I let my community down, that the show, the people are in town, and for some reason I back out of financial reason, mm -hmm. then yes, my neck is on the line. I should be really uh, being blamed for that. Mm -hmm. But if it happens on a national, international level, uh, the community should try to understand that we have done every possible thing and we are there. And if for some reason the show is canceled mm -hmm. or, uh, or not being held, mm -hmm. then I think so they should really give us uh, a benefit of doubt. The reason is because it's really not our fault. Mm -hmm. And it can happen. It Maybe can happen? It, it can happen in the sense that the people traveling from India or Pakistan, wherever they're coming from, mm -hmm. for some reasons uh, they, may, they cannot make it or they miss the flight or the visa problems because you're talking about Sometimes another Sometimes I heard that they are here and still, I mean, yes. is there anything uh, about how those promoters? <laughs> <laughs> recently we had this problem, uh, it again is uh, very important, your credibility, if mm -hmm. I, I mentioned to you earlier. Uh, thank God, by the grace of God, I do enjoy that credibility yes. in, in the community. Uh, 
uh, you know, no matter. I am a person, uh, just to let you know I am, uh, that how this company operates. Recently, uh, I had lost a big, big money in one of the shows. Mm -hmm. But the show timing was till 1 o'clock. And I knew people were enjoying it. They were really having a great time. Mm -hmm. And I made a decision. I knew that there's a hole in my pocket. But I made a decision to let the uh, theater people know that right. I want another hour. Mm -hmm. And that costed me another Once $700. Once you put your foot in there, you have yeah. to <laughs> So <laughs> it is depends that how powerful you are. Yeah. And how, uh, because today, the community, I mean, losing money, making money, it's part of life, okay? You make money and I'm sure you lose. Exactly. Right, it's part of game. Uh, I, I made a decision that moment. Mm -hmm. And, I, and the, gen, uh, the people told me that, uh, right there, they said that, listen, it's going to cost you additional money. I don't mm -hmm. care. The reason is the people who have come to this show are enjoying it, and that's important. That's so right. I make sure that all these basic things are there. The timings, I go ahead and really take my uh, auditorium for more hours. Mm -hmm. I know I'm paying extra money, but I protect myself. Because show can start late for right. some reasons. You try your best to start the show on time. Mm -hmm. But for some reasons, there are always exceptions. I mean, we, we try, as I said in the beginning, you try to be perfect as much as you can. Well, then again, nobody's <laughs> perfect, right? <laughs> well, that's true, I mean, you know.